All right, hey guys, uh, I have this broken Yamaha CS2 synth right here, and uh, I'm going to make a video on how to repair it. I looked around on the net to try and find uh, a way to repair this, couldn't find anything. So I'm hoping that I do actually repair this, and this uh, ends up being something that's of use to someone. So the problem with it is, is some of the keys on it are dead, and it goes into a pattern. The F sharp, G, F sharp, G, F sharp, G, F sharp, G, those four keys are dead. For some reason, these two are still working, but it's those. So because it's in a pattern like that, that tells me it's not just a single key that's dead because they wouldn't all go out at the same time like that. What probably has happened is there's a ribbon cable that attaches the keyboard to the circuit board that likely has come loose because I just played a gig and I've been banging on a lot and it got sort of jostled around coming in and out of the car. So I think that might have come loose. So i just got to reattach that. And the first thing i got to do is separate and take the case off. So I have to pop all these screws. There's a whole series of screws that goes around the, the keyboard. And maybe we'll take some extra pictures of that so you can see. But i got to get all these off and then uh, I'll come back to you once I have the top off and then we'll show you what's on the inside. All right. So we've got all the screws removed around the edge and around this panel here too. There's a whole bunch of them. And so this panel, that point just comes off. You can see now you're at the underside of the keyboard, the circuit board, circuit board for the display, and the contact assembly right here. First thing I'm noticing is this, I've had this keyboard a long time, it's pretty dusty. I'm going to give it a quick blast with the vacuum, just get some of the dust out. Dust is frequently your enemy with electronics, and so I'm trying to keep the dust out as much as we can. Here's the one that I'm thinking is the culprit that is sitting there is a little loose. As you can see, it's a ribbon cable that attaches this keyboard assembly onto the circuit board, which is then hooked up to the circuit board, which drives the rest of the this uh, synthesizer engine. So that's the one I'm hoping is it, and it did seem like it was sitting, but I don't have real high hopes. I'm just going to go through. Make sure all these are seated nice and firmly in place. Every one of these, so the keyboard is talking to all of the parts properly. Okay, now I'm going to prop this back on. I'm not going to screw it on just yet. I'm going to take it back downstairs, plug it back in, hope that uh, one of those easy steps worked so I don't have to take it to the repair shop. That'll be the next step. All right, came down and got the keyboard hooked back up. And the uh, F sharp and G up here with the notes that weren't working. And now, as you can see, nice. working. Took me about 10 minutes or so. Saved me a trip to the repair shop. A repair shop really would cost me 100 bucks just to do just what I did right there. So, easy, simple repair. And if you're talking about Yamaha keyboards, a lot of these keyboards and synthesizers work the same way. So, if you don't have the CS2X, which is the model I have, uh, you have one that's probably similar to it. It's a good thing to check out if uh, you're doing a little DIY synth repair. So as you can see, it worked out for us this time. Rock on. Peace.